Hello. Part 12 of Let's Play Wasteland on the Commodore 64. Where we had last left off, we had just started uh, exploring needles. I, of course, went to the uh, policeman's barracks and raided their vaults, seeing as those submachine guns will do us an awful lot more good than uh, just collecting dust in the vault, or at least that's how I'd like to rationalize it. Now, in this uh, part, I'll be doing more explore. Yeah, you know, we'll of course be doing more exploring. It was a difficult, especially the first time I had uh, decided to do this let's play. So much so that I actually ruined the discs and had to start the uh, whole walkthrough all over again. Um, there's several different places I can go. There's the, the town waste pit, which has a great big uh, monster down there, but it also has access to um, it also has access to a couple of assault rifles. There's also the uh, mushroom temple and of course the the blood cult who happen to be on opposite sides of town. Okay, and what I'll do here is there's a couple of hills just south of... Okay, I'm going to the, the mushroom... I'm going to the temple of the children of the mushroom cloud. Afterward, what I'll be doing is um, I'll be climbing around on those... Uh, I'll be climbing around on uh, the sand piles just south of uh, just south of those uh, rail lines we crossed. Those will allow me to upgrade my climb skill for for no expenditure other than a little bit of time. Sometimes those cacti are alive, and sometimes they aren't. In this case, they are. Poor old Mort is actually going to suffer. Uh, he's going to suffer quite a bit, but that'll give uh, my medics an opportunity to upgrade their. Give me an opportunity to upgrade my medics, uh, doctors, and uh, medic skill. says <clears throat> the mushroom bishop explains to you I sent my my second in command to look for this look into a series of murders you notice the bishop nervously twisting a ruby ring around his finger Yeah, as soon as I can find that, oh, I've got this bus. Oh, there's the ruby ring. Okay. 
150. Where did you find that? Oh my god, he must be dead. The blood staff was stolen from here, and I'll generously reward you if you find it and bring it back. Last I know, he was going back to downtown Needles. Of course, we'll use the fake blood staff. Well, it's nice. I didn't have, I didn't want to have to spend the time walking out of the temple anyway. It's going to take a bit. We're also going to uh, gain a little bit of experience from random encounters. We'll take care of poor Mort there. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate that the climb skill does work, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, um, I'm going to put a cut in here just to, uh, so you don't have to watch me do this for another 10 minutes. Uh, there is one thing, unlike in Wasteland 2 where Angela Death is actually quite, an, uh, has quite a lot of agility, um, and this playthrough she's got an agility of 4 because I had to regenerate her. So there was no way I was ever going to get her climbing skill past... Um, there was no way I was ever going to get her climbing skill past uh, level 1 and not sacrifice, you know, the, the ability to get to uh, other... the ability to get to other um, skills. Because right now, intelligence is just as important as... Um, you know, the free climb skill, especially where if everybody else in the party can do it. Recall having to uh, deal with a little bit of, um, you know, I have a, quite a collection of random jewelry. So what I'll do is I'll head back to um, High Pool or the Egg Center to sell it. I also forgot, I think, to check out the the um, room, the communications room, um, that or what they would call the root cellar. 
I'll have to definitely come back and give this one more another try, that and the uh, the mine. I hadn't at the time managed to figure out, I hadn't managed to find which character had metallurgy and one of them in fact did have it. I would have made one more video if I had managed to find the, uh, if I had managed to spot metallurgy as the one of my uh, party skills. Especially now where I'm relatively safe from the, uh, one of the nastiest beasties in the game. And there it is. I actually saw metallurgy. Once again, going where we don't belong, we get surprisingly attacked. Flash sarcasm. Of course, we're, uh, we'll also need that pickaxe. Well, kind of. In the situation we happen to be in, we're not really hurting for money. This is just a, a nice little diversion from from the usual adventuring. It's one of the three ways you can make. Uh, it's one of the three ways you can gain cash 
one would be, you know, doing your shooting down placed enemies, I guess. The second would be um, by gambling, and the third would be by doing this little, um, doing something in this little, uh, in these caves here. Gas baths do have use, sort of. Now the rope we had we had found also will have some use. There's a couple of spots uh, in the in the city after needles where we'll come to use them. And again, I couldn't seem to find metallurgy in the in the skill list of my party, but it was in fact there. I just wasn't able to spot it in time. Which is no big deal. Um, I'll have to come back to to get the last little bits of forgotten content. Back when my skills were too low to be um, helpful. Now, for some odd reason, I thought there was a library where I was going to be able to upgrade skills at the Ranger Center, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Just bear with me for a bit.
Okay, so we'll take another nice quick trip to Quartz. Yeah, canteen. Now, one of the things I'm going to do in this playthrough is I'm going to try to make sure that um, they've at least got a little bit of armor, a firearm, and a melee weapon before I uh, set them loose. Where we're getting up to the point where we're getting assault rifles, and a little later on we're going to get something which requires a brand new ammunition type. The uh, 45 and 9 millimeter. Um, ammunition is going to become uh, useful only uh, to exchange for other ammunition types. This is quite a pause here. I can't remember what I had to get up for. Okay, so now that we have some automatic weapons, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down into the, the town waste pit in the southwest corner of town. Of course, it being one of the places hit by a nuke, um, we discover what the uh, Geiger counter is used for. The thing is, um, those... Uh, Radi radiation trefoils don't always, uh, they don't always show up. But if you want, I think if you wander so that they're off the screen and wander back over, there's a, a goodly chance if they're missing, they'll reappear.
Yep, sacrificial murders, I guess from the Temple of Blood. I'm not really sure how this town is managing to endure all of this, um, all this trouble. Relatively speaking, there's more jerks than there are uh, sand bombs. Ooh, the Death Angler. That's one of the more. That's one of the nastier worms in the in this area. I'll take a little trip around. There's nothing really in here anyway. Oh, excuse me. Aside from a random encounter. Here I am trying to figure out how to manage the manage the, uh, the the scroll speed on the uh, I guess right now it's just one of these one of the little drawbacks I've got here is that um, I don't have an awful lot in the way of explosives I'll try to pick you know I'll try to pick the lock but I don't think I'm gonna be getting anywhere course, even though I am in no danger of going broke, um, there is still the matter of, um, there's still, a, well, there's still a matter of figuring the TNT was going to, the TNT was going to cut, oh. and you know what, folks, I'm pretty sure I know what's going to happen once I get through that door. I'm going to have instant regret about using explosives to explore them. Then again, I'm exploring this for you guys as much as I am for me. Back when I was playing the game, I would just save at the beginning of the stair at the beginning of the, the area and then go ahead and then go ahead and use the um, use the advantage of a save game to avoid having to waste and again, TNT is only fifty dollars, so it's not what you'd call uh, bank breaking. Okay, trying to use grenades. I think, yeah, Snake has. Um, Snake has demolitions, which is why I, why I'm putting him up with the explosives. I'm hoping to get that skill upgraded for free. Two locked steel doors. No matter. I'm still going to try to see if I can't finesse my way past them, but I don't think I'm going to be getting anywhere with these.
Hmm, I wonder if I ran out of explosives. Okay, I see what's going on. Just past that door and around the corner is a uh, battle uh, if you don't freak out and um, burn your ammunition, there's a good chance you'll uh, have to reload the game. After all this time and all these replays, I am still dreading having to face off against this monster. Of course, when uh, you see what happens, you'll be asking yourself why, but I've had this go wrong a number of times. Load! Load, Christina! Luckily, I've got the scroll right down. Okay, 53. If I had fired burst, I might have done like 7 points. Because I'm using full magazines, I'm not 109. 5! So, you're, you're talking about 170 hit points. Now let me guess, I don't happen to have any. Oh, I've got explosives, but they won't work. got a block of TNT right there. I didn't. Yep, I did. I realized all too late that I did have some TNT. Oh, that's just as well. Let's try it out here. These uh, desert rangers are going to wind up being shovel rangers. Again, never underestimate the damage you can do with a uh, round tip spade. Okay, so we've got uh, we made it back to the surface without another encounter. Let's see if we can't make it across town and get some stuff from the ammunition store in downtown Needles.
hobo dogs. Now, I can only imagine that these, for some people, will be incredibly addictive. be a little bit more to do I realize there's uh, a little bit more exploring I'm gonna have to make sure I write some stuff down And there we are, there's the credit roll. Now there's a couple of guys at the uh, on the south end of the, the room. I got to bring more snake squeezes for them because I do believe that they're going to give me a hint on how to get into the casino. For now though, because I'm getting out very close to the end of the video, I'll have to cut it here. We'll um, take a look around uh, needles again, and we'll uh, continue on. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.